Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am sharing another Glimmer Hot Foil set that is a layering set. This set has Glimmer Hot Foil plates and dies, and these plates and dies work together to die cut and layer for a really cute flower image. Here is the set. It has four different sentiments that go with the largest for you. It says, I will do anything, heartfelt thoughts, on your birthday, and especially. They all go with for you. We have two Glimmer Hot Foil plates that make a flower and a leaf. We have dies to cut them out, and then flower pieces that layer up and accentuate these flowers. Here are the standalone dies. One of them, the biggest of that wonky shaped flower is the center of your glimmered flower. I'm gonna show you how it all works starting right now. These are the two plates that Glimmer Hot Foil to make a flower and a leaf. So I'm putting my plate face up, the foil pretty side down, cardstock over the top of that. I'll press the timer and add my two plates. Once the timer's gone off, it's hot enough and ready to go. I'll run that through my die cut machine right on the plate that comes with the Glimmer Hot Foil. And then when you remove that foil, you have a gorgeous foiled flower and leaf. All right, now these two pieces have dies that cut them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the die cutting and show you what those look like. And you can see you have foil and you have the cardstock showing through. So it's gonna look even more cool when you have those die cut pieces that you layer on top. And then there's two other flower pieces that you can layer for like accent flowers. Okay, so now I'm gonna die, or uh, Glimmer Hot Foil a bunch more flowers and go ahead and die cut them out. Now for the background of my card, I'm using this gilded nested rectangle Glimmer Hot Foil plate set. This one's been around for a while, but this is actually my first time using it. So I have a piece of copy paper down underneath my plate that's gonna be a guide, and then I have a piece of opal foil. It's clear, so make sure when you're using it, you cut it off immediately and lay it down so you have the pretty side down, which is the outside of the roll. Otherwise, you could hot foil your plate and not your paper. So once that's ready, I ran it through my die cut machine and I used that guide of the piece of copy paper to line up the paper or the cardstock I wanted the foiling to be on. And there you can see that opal foil is translucent, so you get the color of the paper from behind, but you also get that opal finish. So I'm gonna do that one more time with the largest die from this set. So I'm gonna have two layers that will make up the background of my card. So again, cutting that opal foil off right when I'm ready to use it because I have Glimmer hot foiled a Glimmer plate accidentally by getting that foil upside down. All right, so here's the largest one. So cool to have that subtle background. Now I'm taking the largest for you die and I'm gonna glimmer hot foil that in the middle of that smaller frame that I just did with the opal foil. I'm using this tape to create a hinge because I want this for you to be exactly in the center of this frame. I'll lift that hinge up, put down some Aura foil, and then close that over the top of the foil. So the pretty side of the foil is touching the back side of this plate. I'll put that face down onto my Glimmer Hot Foil machine, put the plates on, set the timer. When the timer goes off, run it through my die cut machine. So that is how that works. And then when you remove that plate and the foil, you can see that the For You is now in the center of my frame. I love that Aura foil. Oh. Aura and opal foils are my favorite. Speaking of opal foil, I'm doing it on a piece of black cardstock for my sentiment that says heartfelt thoughts. That's going to go with my for you sentiment. That one had excess foil on it. My plate is getting really hot, so I just brushed that away. And now I'm using a die from a different Glimmer Hot Foil set to die cut out this sentiment. And I will use that on my card here coming up in a moment. So I'm first gluing down my background onto an A2 size card. It's four and a fourth by 11 scored at five and a half. It's a side folding card. And now for this layer, I felt that I wanted those corners trimmed off just to give it a little bit more of a decorative look. And now let's put those flowers together so you can see how the die cut piece layers over the top of the glimmered and die cut flower for a multi-layered look. 
I'm using the same color of cardstock I used in yesterday's video. If you didn't happen to catch that video, I have a picture of the card at the end of this video, as well as a link to that card. It's another layering set where you glimmer hot foil, die cut, have a piece that you layer on top, and then there's actually a third layer piece in that flower. It's amazing. Um, it's the botanical set, glimmered botanical set, so you'll want to check that out if you haven't seen that one yet either. I was going to try to do both cards in the same video because they're both layering sets, but uh, they were just so different. I wanted them to have their own video so that's why there's two but you'll want to check them both out all right so now i'm going ahead and figuring out where i want those flowers to go in and around that for you sentiment which is how this set is designed to work for those flowers to kind of dress up your sentiment so there you go and that aura foil it is like gold with an iridescent shine to it i love it it's fabulous all right so those flowers are going um, kind of in rainbow order, you know, three colors across the top and three colors across the bottom. And then I'm going to add in some more leaves. Now the leaves, I did a hot foil with aura foil and the green foil. I like the aura foil on there for just a different look. And then I have a, um, just a medium tone green cardstock that I used. And now I'm adding in those, um, accent flowers, as I like to call them, the little ones that don't have glimmer hot foil adding those in. And then I'm going to put that panel on the front of my card with some foam tape because I love to have things popped up. Love it. And then this heartfelt thoughts I'm putting at the top of the card. And I think the Aura foil works really good on black cardstock. In yesterday's video it was the first time I tried it. I wasn't sure. And I think it is fabulous. So we're putting all those pieces in and together. I love the leaf just touching the edge of that sentiment to kind of tie it in and anchor it down. All right, to finish this up, I felt like I wanted to use some of those just die cut sprigs of leaves. So I pulled out a lighter color of cardstock and went ahead and added those in for just a little bit more of a fun floral feel. They're really soft and delicate. I love them. Such a good little die to have. Mm, no, let's try it by the yellow flowers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, to finish this off, I needed embellishments. So I brought in my rainbow drops. Um, you might already know this, but this is my favorite embellishment. There's six different colors. Uh, they're rainbow colors, so you can mix and match these with almost anything you have because they're slightly translucent. So whatever color you put them on top of, they're going to pick up a little bit of that color. So it's going to match any purple you have, any yellow you have. And then I did add a little flower to the inside of the card, um, just a little leftovers that I had for something pretty on the inside. And that finishes up today's card. And you can see here, there's the card I made yesterday together with this one. So much fun to have these layering sets from Spellbinders. I love it. All right, everything is listed and linked for you below that I used. And I will be back again very soon with a new video. So make sure you tune in. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. It won't hurt my feelings. And you can ring the little bell and YouTube will let you know next time I have a video. All right, happy stamping. Bye.